In today's Blender tutorial, I'm gonna show you one of the coolest things ever, and that is the Biome Reader plugin for Blender, and this is completely free. So in other words, you can create, with just a click of a button, super realistic um, scattered grass and plants, and you get a whole asset library, and this is completely free. It's no catches, there's no trial versions, it's completely free, and I'm gonna show you guys where you can get it. So this is it, you're gonna download the plant library, and the biome reader. I'm gonna show you where you can get both of those, how to set it up. And even though this says that it's only for Blender 3.3 and 3.4, so far I've been able to use it in Blender 4.0 without any real issues. That might change in the future, but I decided to do a quick tutorial on this and how to get it, and it's so powerful. You can literally just come here to your asset browser and just drag things in like this. And um, it's just, the fact that this is actually free it's just absolutely astounding. So I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step how to get this into Blender 4.0 so you can use it for some epic, um, quick click of the button sort of um, grass, plants, anything you need to scatter. So to download this, it's quite simple. You're gonna to need to create an account with Blender Market. Don't worry, it's completely free to create an account. And once you've done that, you're gonna come over here or just go into the um, description below if you don't wanna search it up. There's gonna be a link to the plant library. And you can see here it says purchase, but it says zero dollars. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna click on that and it's gonna add it to your cart. And then you're simply just gonna to go to your cart and then you can go continue to checkout. Now I've already actually done that. So for me, it's in my orders. So I can go to my orders once I've done that. And you can see here's the plant library and you're just gonna go click, um, go to downloads over here. And then you're gonna see there are seven download options. And this might be confusing, but the only one you're gonna worry about is the one that says Assets Plant Library for 3.3 Plus Cycles and EV Render. And make sure it says Old Legacy Version. So you can see this one under here that is not Old Legacy. Just get the one here that's Old Legacy, click on it and download it. This is gonna download as a zip folder. So you can see I've already done that here in my Downloads folder is a zip. I've extracted it like you do with any other zip file. And I've put the contents of that into a file. So this is the stuff that's been extracted. And I've just gone ahead and called that plant library. And for now, I'm just gonna leave it in my downloads, but you can place it wherever you want on your computer. And then let's just quickly go back to the plant library. You'll see if you actually go to that, um, let me quickly go back. You can see it's a biome reader here as well. You can click on a biome reader. I'll put a link to this in the description as well. And this actually goes to the GeoScatter website. And over here, you can just add in your details. It's completely free, your email and your profession. You can just say hobbyist. And then click on a agreements here and then you can submit it and it'll send a download link to your, lap, um, to your um, email. And then um, you're just gonna take that and it's gonna come as a zip folder. So I've already done that. And when I downloaded that from my email, the link they gave me, it's called the, um, the Biome Reader plugin and you're not gonna extract this one. You don't have to extract it. I've just gone ahead and put 4.0 on the end of this, just for an example, even though this isn't specifically made for 4.0. As long as you know we've put that um, file on your computer. For me, I've put it in my Blender add-ons file that I created, but you can put it anywhere in your computer as long as you know. Once you have those two things in place, the plant library that you've extracted and that zip folder that you would have downloaded from here, from the biome reader, you're gonna go into Blender 4.0 and then you're gonna go to edit, you're gonna go to preferences. And first of all, you're gonna go to your add-ons, click on install, and then you're gonna go to wherever the um, biome reader is. So for me, like I've said, I know where that is on my computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I'm gonna to go to wherever that is. It's gonna be different for you depending on where you place it. So here it is, biome reader plugin. You're just gonna click on it and go install add-on. And then you should see there's a biome reader option. Just make sure you tick that. And now it's enabled. Now you're gonna to go to your file paths. And now the biome reader just needs to know where those assets are. So under your file path, you're just gonna to go to your asset libraries and click on plus. In this case, I've left it in my downloads. I'm gonna to go to my downloads and there is that plant library that you extracted. You're just gonna click on that file and then go add asset library. And now you've got that. So it's now referencing this extracted contents over here. Okay, so now you just make sure to go save preferences and close this. And now you can go N to bring up your properties. Go to the biome reader. Click on a little eyedropper here and then click on any object. So in this case, I'll just quickly click on this cube. And then you can go open biomes. And here you can see it's opened the biomes under the Blender preferences. 
And what you want to do is go to the plant library old. And now you've got all of these options here. So now you've already got the cube selected in this case. And now you can go to any of these here. So I'm going to go down and maybe get this forest 07. And it's going to take a few seconds and it's importing all those assets. And now you have this generated over here. How cool is that? Now you can come over here and you can come to the different um, things here. So you can go to the forest dead leaves, for example, and you can change the density. Um, you can maybe go to the seedlings and up the density. There are all sorts of cool things you can do. You can um, go ahead and increase the scale. Um, it's just such a cool thing. And then when it renders, it renders really realistically. Um, so I really hope this has been useful and I will be using this in some upcoming tutorials. But just to quickly give you guys an example, if you were to just add in a light and go into cycles, see this is the kind of quality you can expect. Um, it's really a fantastic add-on and it's really good for adding stuff like lawn and grass. So, um, and one more thing I'll quickly also mention, not only that, if you kind of go and open up a, another window, you can go over to your asset browser and then you're also gonna see, because you've added that to your assets, you can see you have all of these different things here that you can just drag in individually in here as well. So now you just have like an individual plant there and there's so many to choose from. This is an incredible free asset and I hope you guys enjoy.